you can use Nessus Pro to perform credential scans on assets that authenticate with SSH public keys. The first thing you will do on a Nessus scanner, create the necessary keys because Nessus is going to be authenticating with the target. In order to create a key on Nessus server, you'll make sure it has SSH folder present. If I go cd.ssh, it's there. I do not have any keys present in the system here, so I can generate those keys on a Linux server simply by using keygen. And I can use either DSA or RSA. In this case, I'm gonna use RSA, and maybe I'll specify the block size as 2048. Now, it's gonna specify, ask for the name of the key you want to, where you wanna save. I'm gonna leave it in default in SSH folder and hit enter. Ask you to enter the passphrase. It's better to keep the passphrase. I'm gonna enter the passphrase, protect the key. Now, if I go and look, there are two keys in my folder. There's a public key and there's a private key. This private key I'm gonna use in my Nessus scanner interface when authenticating, and this public key I'm gonna copy onto the target machines. Now, there are multiple ways of doing so. One way is to manually copy this public key onto the target SSH folder, and I'm gonna go to cd.ssh. Now, I have authorized keys. I can add it, that public key right here, and get authorized, or I can use SSH copy command to copy my public key to the user, which is gonna be used as scan user on the target. I strongly recommend that you create a user specifically for scanning the targets. In my case, I have not created one, but you can. I'm gonna use root and copy the key. This is the password for the target machine. Now you can see this key has been added. If I go to authorize keys, now the key is there. You can see right here, it says root Nessus scanner, and this is my Nessus scanner, and that key has been added to the target. Now there is also a private key, which I'm gonna need to copy Copy that and the passphrase I used. And then I'll specify the target. In my case, it was 192.168.10. And I'll call it SSH auth scan. 